Let's discuss what implicit differentiation is and when it has to be used. To begin, let's talk about when it actually doesn't have to be used. In this equation, y equals 7x squared plus 5x minus 3, if I were to find the derivative, or more specifically, the derivative of y with respect to x, that is equal to 14x plus 5. And all that's required to be done in this situation is to take the derivative of each term on the right side of the equation using the power rule. The derivative of 7x squared is 14x, the derivative of 5x is 5, and the derivative of negative 3 is 0. However, let's look a little uh, more closely at the left side of the equation. The derivative of y is written as dy over dx, or y prime. Implicit differentiation is not needed when taking the derivative of this equation. However, if we take a look at this equation, y equals 7x squared plus 5x minus 3y squared, it will be needed. And the reason is because if you have uh, y equals and you take the derivative, we're going to find that the, the derivative of y can be stated as y prime, the derivative of y with respect to x, the derivative of 7x squared is again 14x, and the derivative of 5x is 5. However, when we get to the last term, 3y squared, all of our differentiation rules that have been discussed so far are, to, are only being applied to terms in which we're taking the derivative of x. When you take the derivative of a variable other than the variable in which you're differentiating with respect to, in this case, other than x, implicit differentiation is required. To take the derivative of the term 3y squared with respect to x requires implicit differentiation. 